Welcome to the kingdom. What a beautiful day to be in the kingdom. And you know how I say, all those who seek the kingdom, all good things will come to them. But today, today is gonna be an enormous, uh, uh, phenomenal, just an epic, impactful episode of the kingdom. I'm joined by my hermano, my brother, Anthony Morales, and he's representing all people, but he's definitely representing the Hispanic family today. And I'm representing the African-American black community, but this is, a, this is an event for everybody. I don't, I don't wanna get it wrong, okay? But we are focusing on the health and nutrition in the black and Hispanic community because there's such a large disparity going on right now that we have to do something, all right? We have to be bold with our approach. We have to get information out there that we can literally save lives, impact lives, but save lives. So we, we just left something that everybody's familiar with the pandemic. And I like to say, we're going from pandemic to pandemonium with excitement Woo! that we are gonna change lives. Now get that. I patented it, I've copywritten it, it's mine. Pandemic to pandemonium. This is what we're doing right now. This inspiring healthy living mission movement, this community that we are in, making a difference around the world. Community, community, neighborhood to neighborhood, family to family, man to man, woman to woman, child to child. This is what it is. It, it gets me up in the morning and, and I'm smiling when I go to bed at night, thanking God that he's given this, this blessing to me that I can share with others. But my name again is Troy Richardson. I own a veteran health and wellness organization where I work with veterans and communities around the country, helping them with their health and also with their financial uh, um, you know, predicament services, whatever I, I can do to help them out. And today, again, I'm joined by Anthony Morales, and he is the co-founder, co-owner of, and, and Anthony, I know I'm going to get this wrong, but just correct me, the name of the company is Augusta, Anthony? Float and Wellness. Float and Wellness. So we both are health and wellness advocates, and we're going to represent this, this company today that is changing lives. Now, the reason why we're doing this kingdom, because originally it was, it was to, to reach men. But as you know, you cannot have a kingdom without queens. And I'm so thankful that we do have some queens on this call today to witness what we are about to do. Now, when I said there's a large disparity going on, and, and, and there's a few reasons, okay? but the life expectancy is way off. First of all, Asian Americans, they're, they're, they're 87 years that they, they expected to live. White Americans is 77. Native Americans is, I mean, sorry, white Americans 79, Native Americans 77, and, and, and Black and Hispanic is 75. And it's, and it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So right there, we have a large disparity. And, and some of that is due to income. Some of that is just due to economic conditions. But a lot of it has to do with, with what we're putting inside our bodies. So again, we have to make a difference. We can control certain things to make us live a better life, a longer life, better quality of life. And this is what we're going to introduce to you today that hopefully you have a call to action and you take action and, and not only hear, but listen to what we're saying, because we know, we know there have been so many testimonies about what fruits and vegetables can do for your body that we know, and it, it's science-based. We're not just making this stuff up. There are actually over 40 medical studies and research done on this product to prove what it can do when you put it in your body. But I'm going to turn it over to Anthony because this, this, this brother is very knowledgeable. He's, he's passionate 
in helping others, as you're going to see. So I just want to let him give his version of how we're going to impact these communities. And right now he's in Massachusetts spreading the word. He resides in Puerto Rico with his lovely queen, Anna, who's on the, on the call now. But Anthony, man, welcome to the kingdom. Thank you, hey. thank you for the wonderful introduction, the information. And uh, yes, uh, all this couldn't have been possible with, without, you know, my wife, which, you know, like you said, the Queens, they got your back, you know, they always look out for us. That's why they always outlive us, <laughs> which we're trying to change that. <laughs> and Augusta Florida and Wellness was her idea, which I totally backed her up after a while, you know, cause man's a little hard headed. And it was all based on the whole wellness of the body, not just nutrition. Nutritional was the beginning because her, uh, you know, her, I feel like her journey and my journey, Francisca, how you doing? Um, is intertwined because, you know, we've been together for so long, but she worked at a dialysis clinic and she saw how people were deteriorating because of what they were eating. You know, high cholesterol takes you to diabetes and then, you know, they lose their eyesight, you know, they got to get their arms, fingers, whatever cut. And then, you know, she would tell me this information and then, you know, we joined this company and I started noticing there wasn't a lot of men in it, you know, till I met you, I met a couple of others and now it's very paramount and the COVID, and the COVID situation further solidify how nutrition is very important because everybody went crazy. We couldn't even find toilet paper. But we got ready at the beginning because it kind of happened, what, February started? So February, you know, spring was happening. We got our raised beds ready. We bought the tower, the tower garden, which is another product from this company which helps you grow your own food regardless of weather because you have it in your own house. And so we bought it. Then we get to know April. We bought it in March. April sold out. Everybody was going crazy because, you know, with every negative situation that happens outside of our control, usually comes with a lesson. So thank goodness we had the raised bed. We were able to grow some corn. We grew some uh, squash uh herbs potatoes potatoes are real easy to grow and the reason we chose those things was because those are things that have a lot of shelf life without to do anything on it and then the tower it started giving us uh you know the lettuce the herbs the leafy greens that we needed without having to worry about whose hands are touching it and after a year I think a year and a half of owning a tower, we noticed, you know, once we go to the supermarket, when we've gone out, even buying organic fruits and vegetables, they can't come close. It's so subpar. Like a celery is usually, you know, greenish, light green, almost white. And then the tower gives us super dark green, like the dark kale, purpley color. And that's so nutrient dense. Uh, the peppers are, are the regular peppers that are not hot. They will have a little hint of uh, spice without burning you. So, you know, it's very important um, um, that we started spreading this uh, word about it because, you know, food sovereignty is a real thing. We can't depend on external entities to look out for us. You know, they're there because you know, we're part of this civilization. But we can't depend on that. We can't acquiesce. Like, here, take care of me, mom and dad. You know, we left our houses at 17, 18 to be on our own, to then be with <laughs> some bigger mom and dad, which is the government. It makes no sense. And when you get caught off guard, it's not a good position to be in. Well, Anthony, <clears throat> I echo that sentiment. And... I just want to share a, a proverb from Ghana. A wise man, Archbishop 
George Augustus Stallings recently said in a conversation that the ruins of the nation begins in the home. And when you think about that, it's, 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 it's rather deep, right? The ruins of a nation begins in the home. So for this, for this event, we, we, we're gonna talk nutrition, right? Because when we were younger, we used to sit around a table and have family meals. At least I'm gonna speak for my family. We used to sit around a table and have home cooked meals, right? 70s, 80s, 90s, the fast food started taking over, man. And it was less, less family time, less, less fresh, fresh vegetables and, and the fruits that was getting into the kids and, and getting into the entire family, man. Everybody was going for the convenience, for the convenience of food now, instantaneous. And not only did the, the family suffer, but the nutrition, the, the, the health started to suffer. People started getting diseases earlier. The cancer, the diabetes, the kidney, the heart disease, obesity, all these conditions started rising and it's still rising. Mm -hmm. Now, recently Holly Dudley, great, great digestive health expert, said that we need to eat food that comes from the plant, but not is made, not made in the plant. This processed food is killing us. Lisa Michelle, and if you guys have not ever seen Lisa Michelle talk, Crowned with Health every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, she, she, she talks about the chemicals in food and she gives examples of the chemicals that are right on the labels of the food that were specifically the cereal that we're feeding our kids. It's right on the label. And these, are, these chemicals are, are cancer causing agents. There was a recent recall of the big baby company Beech Nut. They, they recalled their rice cereal because it had too much arsenic in it. Too much, not a little bit. Too much. So that tells me that there's arsenic in it. There's just too much by their standards. So we have to open the third eye, man. We have to be aware of what's going on. There's a structured system of ruin that is affecting our communities. Okay, but it starts in the home where we have to make our kids, our grandchildren, our nieces, our nephews, our cousins, everybody that we come into contact with, we have to open their minds, man, because advertising, adver let me just talk about the advertising from our, our corporate entities out there. 2019, it's a, it's a lot more now, but 2019, the food, beverage, and restaurant industry spent $14 billion in advertising. A lot of that was going to the kids. All mm -hmm. this bright, big size, get your toys with this, yep. right? $14 billion. Now keep this in mind. Listen now, listen closely. Open that mind up. 300 and 20 billion, okay, was spent on, let me get this right, excuse me, let me just go back to my notes. I don't want to get this, because this is, this is critical. Yeah. I took notes. I yeah, took yeah, notes, y'all. 320 billion was spent on prescription drugs. Okay, $14 billion on food, primarily that we should not eat, that's affecting us. And then you got $320 billion spent on prescription drugs. But hold up, there's one more number. 
19 billion was spent on funerals. Wow. Do you see how this all comes together? I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. But I'm being bold as hell right now because I've lost 2008. I lost my brother to cancer. Four months later, I lost my mom to cancer. And I was like, I was done, man. I was done. First of all, the healthcare, the doctors, I, I just about hit one in the face for the way he was he was treating my mother. I was like, not, not on my watch, man. So we have to make a change. And in one of my biggest whatever, um, just I don't even know what to call it, but I just wish that I knew what I know now when my mother and my brother were still around. And maybe I could have gave them a, a chance, right? So but, options and options. Options, you know what I mean? So we have to be diligent in, in what we're doing in, in our approach and what we're putting in our bodies, guys. People don't know, uh, Troy, the Russia, European Union, they ban a lot of the chemicals that are placed in our children's food. I think Europe does not allow like cartoons, you know, the famous Tony the Tiger, the Lucky Charms Leprechaun, they don't allow none of that because they know the children are impressionable. And Anna and I just watched a documentary that Brazil is uh, getting very obese because they got, because the, this big beverage company the biggest soda company that we all know has complete autonomy to do whatever they want. They go to the schools and they fund the soccer games and everything with their products. You know, everything's free. You know, the school couldn't pay them for their soccer equipment, but here comes big company, you know, yeah, we'll get you all the stuff, but you got to drink our stuff. You got to promote it and everything. And the same with the famous clown that sells you burgers. Same thing down there. He goes around to school. He teaches you. You know, he doesn't have the M on his shirt, but everybody knows who he is. Mm -hmm. And the kids, you know, once after that, mom, I want to go here. Because I remember when I was a child, going there to the big golden arches was a privilege. You know, we yeah. thought it was a privilege. Yeah. We thought yeah. it was a privilege. Absolutely. Little did we know. And Anna mentioned something in the chat, like even microwaves, microwaves are cancer causing, they're banned in Russia. You know, they, what they do is they nuke your food and they destroy all the nutritional value. So you're, eating, you're not eating anything. You're eating a dead, a hot plate, basically. That's all you're eating. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like you said, we're giving the option. We got the free choice giving by the most high. And you know, they said in the Bible, the whom giveth much is required. So you're, when, you're, when you're presenting with friends, you know, we're living in an information age. We got this computer in front of us. If you chose, choose to be ignorant, it's, it's on you. Well, I, and I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm just saying, you know, there's more to Netflix and, you, and, and watching other things that do not help you, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm an expecting father. And now more than ever, I'm, I'm more checking what Anna's putting in her body and what we're gonna do to create a child with optimal health. Cause yes. like you were talking about the doctors, you know, some of them is not their fault. That's what they were taught, you know, to be, what, how do I say? Um, to be detached of emotion. So, you know, your beloved family member is going through stuff and they just come in like, hey, this is what you're doing. And another thing, not only nutrition, but your mental health. Because uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, you know, check him out. Um, this doctor, he was hit by a bike and he was able to, and they told me he couldn't walk again. So he was able to visualize himself fixing all his nerves and in a couple of months started walking again. So, you know, when that guy in the white coat comes in and gives you the prognosis, you know, it could go south. 
Because now you're thinking, okay, I got six months, you know. And then there was another case, and, you know, part of me, I can't, I don't have it here in my notes. And I might put it in the, in the chat. This person was told they had cancer. They were going to die in six months. He died in like two or three weeks because he had it in his head that he was going to die. No cancer when they operated him. So he killed himself. So not only we got to fuel our body, but we got to fuel our minds. And with this company, when you get in, not only do you get the products that they give you, which is NFS certified, which is top rated product that Olympians take, but you get the community behind it. So it's not, you're not going in blindly. You know, I met you, you know, I met a whole bunch of wonderful people. Um, Francisca Becca here, Velda, you know, you know, we got a great community. So. You know, all we do here is provide options and more knowledge because, you know, we live hectic lives and we sometimes we don't have time to be looking at the, the information. But that's why we got these group calls that we unite under the kingdom. Hey, brother, let me tell you. I'm going to hear. All right, and you're going you're gonna to mute yourself, queen, okay? Right? <laughs> That's Francesca, everybody. Love it, love it. But this is a community. We family, right? Yeah, only, we only, only family could, could do what we do. We love <laughs> each other. We support one another. We laugh together. We cry together. We just, we just bond together, man. This is what family is all about. And rarely, yeah. rarely do companies have that, that feel, that component that everything comes together. And this is what we do. But yeah, with passion, with passion. <laughs> Not okay. a passion. Check out Francisca and the Spanish call Wednesday nights. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, sis. Now mute yourself for real now. Okay, we're gonna get back <laughs> to you. Okay. Now, this community, right? Anthony alluded to the kingdom. Okay, I said we cannot have queens and we cannot have a, a kingdom without queen, the queendom. But it's it consists of so many cities and villages. And these cities and villages are not going to mean nothing to you unless you're in this community. But those in the community, you're going to know you got the village of infinity. You got the village of necessary. You got the village of the Hicks. Oh, <laughs> you have the village of sentient. You have the village of glory. And you have the village of unstoppable. And I'm missing a lot of villages. Team Aim Happy. Team Fuego. I ain't say team, man. Didn't I say village? Anthony. Village, village. Now follow along, man. Come on ah. now. These villages all consist within the kingdom around the world. And we all have one mission to inspire healthy living. So I want to invite you to come into the kingdom, join this movement, join a king, join a queen. We have princes too, as young as 18 years old. You can join this business, okay? We wanna make no claims of income. We're making no claims of, of curing anybody of anything, but you look in the Bible, the Bible will tell you, look at Daniel's fast. It will tell you what fruits and vegetables will do for your temple, okay? But I just want to show you, this is the powdered capsule. This is concentrated, concentrated vegetables, 11 when you take these capsules. And this is the fruits. They make it easy for people like me, red fruit, green vegetables, so you can't get it mixed up, okay? There's food labels. Again, this is food. It's labeled as a supplement per FDA, but we're going to take the government out of this right now. It's food, okay? As Anthony said, it's NSF certified, the top certification. It's clean. It's 100% vegan. It's gluten-free. We have shakes, protein, fiber, all plant-based. These are the gummies for the kids and the big adults who don't like the powder capsule swallowing. We have the gummies. Also, when you take the fruits, and the gummies for the kids, 
That's 22 fruits and vegetables you're getting daily. The daily serving recommended is nine to 13. More if you're athletic. Especially if you're a supreme athlete, you want to get up with my boy Brian here on the call, man. Supreme athlete, right there. All right, all right. All the <laughs> shout outs, y'all gonna y'all gonna stop this shouting out in the kingdom, okay? But anyway, anyway, that's family love. That's family. That's nothing but love. What's up, Brian? What's up, Brian? But this is what we're talking about. This is how we can change the trajectory of life expectancy, change the trajectory of disease by making simple changes, maybe one simple change this month, one next month. Tracy from last night on the call with Lisa, Crown with Health, 8 p.m. Eastern every Friday. Did I tell you that? She mentioned that she did our program, the Shred 10, and she mastered one. She mastered one change and then she moved on. So you make one simple change in your lifestyle, what you're putting in your food. We're not going to say diet, because diet means you, you're doing something drastic. Lifestyle, okay? Simple changes in your lifestyle, what you're putting in your body, can make a difference. And for some, it can be the difference between life and death, okay? This is serious. But um, I'm going to give it back to Anthony real quick and then i'm going to come back because i do want to talk about business okay a lot of people hurting right now unemployment people don't want to go back to work uber drivers they don't want to go back to work and just there's so much going on because people they want other options man they've learned that going through what we just went through that they need options they don't want the same old same old so i'm going to talk to you about that but anthony Go ahead, my brother. Yeah, I wanted to add to what you were saying. Like, I've been traveling consistently for, I think, the last two years, like, been on the road. And thanks to this, in the past year and a half, yeah, I think, no, two years, because it's already two years. This has closed the gap on nutrition with us because it's hard to find good organic food and like i mentioned earlier organic food is now so par unless you grow your own food you know anna's in puerto rico and most most of the food over there is root vegetables that we eat root fruit vegetables bread and coffee and then rice and beans so like we went to the supermarket we couldn't find kale i was surprised they had watercress but if it wasn't for this i i don't know like this whole past year I've been around people that had the vid, you know, I've been up and open, you know, you know, some people might say careless, but I was protected with this. I swear, I never, the only thing that bothered me was pollen as usual, <laughs> but pollen is something else, but everything else I have been, been sick this whole time I've been taking it. And my hair and nails grow like people that know me before I used to be bald, hair came back. <laughs> hey hey thank god for the hair bro I, I i i'm i'm happy for you with the hair man um but but listen man back to the business here this company it's a multi-million we might i believe might have hit the billion dollar mm -hmm. mark but during this whole pandemic that we went through with companies are laying off and, and downsizing man we added we added partners. Not one person in our corporate office was was laid off. We actually added added people, man. And and business is increasing. It's increasing tremendously. This is a trillion dollar industry, the health and wellness, multi trillion dollar industry. And there there are families that do this together. There are husbands and wives like Anthony and Anna that do this together, man. And this is making communities stronger. First of all, small business drives the community. We know that, right? So when you become a partner, you become a small business. And with that does come uh, tax benefits that you can take advantage of for being a small business. Doesn't matter if you're 1099, you're in your home, you're in a brick and mortar, you qualify for 
certain tax benefits. So if you're not doing that, you, you definitely want to get with your financial um, uh, professional or uh, a tax accountant or whatever, and make sure you're taking advantage of the tax benefits due to you. But we have a, what we call a blitz going on right now, where we're going to waive the franchise fee in order for you to be a franchise owner and own your own business and get your piece of this proverbial American pie, American dream, right? You wanna, you wanna create a legacy for your kids, for your family? You can do that right now by getting back to the person who, who loved you enough to share this with you, maybe invited you and you're here now. They really care enough about you that they wanna share this with you not only to get you healthier, but to impact your wealth and just make a difference in your life, man. Again, we get one life. We get one life, one opportunity to make a difference and maximize all of our potential. So I encourage you to reach out and you could do this anytime. You don't have to give up a job. You can do this on your own schedule when you feel like it, okay but if you put in some time maybe that's an hour two hours a week you will benefit that that's proven there I'm, I'm just going by historical people that i know that are doing it like anthony like francesca like velda like anna um i'm not sure if brian's a partner hey, hey, hey. elise Okay, um, Anthony, you got the name all the names, bro, because you know. Um, one thing I will tell you, and, and some people know, but I'm vision, vision impaired, okay? And I've been that way since 2017. No diagnosis, I'm healthy as an ox. And the only conclusion one specialist came up with and I totally agreed with because I've gone through a lot of concussions. I, I played, you know, football through college and been hit with baseballs and, and boxed and karate. I've been hit in the head a lot. And I used to have these, these major headaches, right? And eye strain and, and just debilitating. And it was diagnosed back then when I was younger as eye strain. And, you know, I didn't know to question the doctor. Who am I? You don't question the doctor, right? But it wasn't looked uh, any further. And 2017, I was driving and, and things were just blurry. And I was like, what the freak is going on? But to, to just summarize and, and get back to what I'm talking about, we have a product, the Omegas, which is plant-based. And it, 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 it helps the eyes, the, the joints, the heart, the brain, and the skin. So Dr. Mitra Ray, it's my little, my baby sister, Dr. Mitra Ray. Um, shout out to Mitra Ray. Love you, girl. Um, <laughs> she takes four for her joint. She had joint problems years ago. And she started taking four of the omegas and, and her, her pain went away. She's, she's, you know, pain-free today. Reaching up the system. Yeah, she's climbing mountains in, in the state of Washington. She's just like superwoman, right, with her joints. So um, I, I started taking four, right? Now, the, the, the vision impairments, optic, optic nerve damage, they said it was irreversible. But I told him, I said, listen, man, I, I go to, I call to a higher power. You know, he, he, he's, he's much higher than doctors, you know? You got to forgive me, but I don't believe anything is irreversible. So taking yeah. four for the past six months, my eyes are improving. They're improving, right? From what the doctor said was irreversible, they are improving. Now, I wouldn't drive because I probably could, but I wouldn't just because I don't want to hurt nobody or myself. But my eyes are improving. So that's just one other testimony of what this product might be able to do for, for someone else out there who's vision impaired and, you know, they, they tell you things, doctors say it's irreversible, you know, always get a second and a third opinion. And, and if your doctor isn't trained in nutrition, attempt to educate them because many doctors have been educated and they've, they've tried to put this product and they put it in their, in their, in their practice because their patient educated them. I just changed my primary physician because she wasn't even willing to look. I was like, okay, 
Okay, that's fine. Well, guess what? This is our last time seeing each other. If I run into you in the grocery store, I'll say hi, but you won't see me in your office again. That's how serious I am about this, okay? Because I know what these fruits and vegetables and berries and fruit bars and the shakes can do for our community. So again, I just wanted to share that business opportunity with you because it is a tremendous opportunity to own your own business and get your kids involved. Um, the Anthony talked about the tower garden. I have two. Um, I'm growing my own fruits. I'm, I mean, not fruits. I'm not growing the fruits yet. I'm doing my, my, my produce. And I literally give four neighbors on about a, every two months, I give them bags of produce and it's making a difference in their lives. But we have these tower gardens and schools and, and all types of learning environments. Um, I'm talking with the pastor. He wants to put one in his gym so his, his fighters can have access and just eat it right there. I'm like, wow, that is, that is beautiful. I love that. I love that idea. But this is the community that we, we are part of, folks. I hope... I pray that you learn something today, something you heard will resonate with you. You'll take a call to action. You, you'll make one simple change, maybe two, maybe three, but start with one. And remember the numbers that I put out there earlier, the 14 billion in advertising from food, um, the food industry, the 320 billion from the prescription drugs we're spending. And then finally, the 19, the 19 billion spent on funerals, burying our loved ones that have passed away prematurely. A lot of that can be associated to what we put in our bodies. So we have the opportunity to make a difference. The question is, what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to sit by and wait till you get sick and then, you know, go to the doctor and get some prescription drugs and, you know, you get a refill for when they, when they run out, you just go get some more. Are you going to fall into that cycle and be part of the 320 billion and possibly part of the 19 billion? Are you going to be a healthier living person and become a health advocate for your family and for your community. It's a beautiful thing when you make a difference in somebody's life. I know you know how that feels. You've done it a time or two. And, and, and it's just a great feeling when you make a difference, man. But again, this life is it's, it's not promised to us. It's not. There are family members that I've lost, cousins, men, cousins, way too, way too early. They're gone now, some younger than me, some around the same age, and they're not here. So I'm doing it for them. And I'm doing it for their kids that are still here and their grandchildren, because this is my passion. I love people. This is my purpose. I was given this, this, this inspiration from my mother who was, who's just the ultimate giver. And this is what I'm doing. I'm carrying on her legacy and I'm continuing my legacy. So Anthony, any final words? You just uh, one step at a time. Like you said, you know, just consider yourself because we got to love ourselves first. And then, you know, pass it on. You know, if you got kids, you know, the kids watch you, they do what you do. And, you know, this is your temple and, you know, you, you know, this is your house. You're not going to, trash your house, you know, so what you put in is, is actually cleaning your house and maintaining it. Is the, is the motor, motor, how do you say it? The motor. Motor. The engine. No, the motor, that thing you put in the bricks. Oh, mortar, mortar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that keeps it in shape. So, you know, get with the person that invited you. Take a look, you need more info. Just, you know, give us a call, write us. And hope you got plenty of information and knowledge from this call. Absolutely, brother. Thank you. And I'm going to close with, with the, the proverb from Ghana. The, ru the ruins of the nation begins in the home.
Think about the nutrition, what we're putting in our shelves and our pantries that our kids are grabbing, all because convenience. We want to get it in and get it done and go back to doing what we're doing. Take 10 or 15 minutes that's going to take to, to cook that food and give your child a good, whole, wholesome, nutritious meal. Stop taking the easy way out. Leave the McDonald's alone. Go back to old school. When you go to a fast food place, maybe once every couple months, so the kids know that, hey, we got to eat better and then we'll get a treat. We'll go ahead and get that McDonald's once every couple months. It's a privilege. It's not the every, every day, every week thing. Now, if the ruins of the nation begins in the home, guess what? The resurrection of the nation can begin in the home too. And that's powerful. We're going to resurrect health and wellness and spirituality and physical health and mental health. And we're all prospering because we all own our businesses and people are happy again, man. And, and when people are happy, guess what? Crime is down. Crime is up all across the nation, y'all. But when people are happy and they got money flowing, crime is down, man. Disease is down. And it's just a beautiful place, man. It's a beautiful world. That's the world that I want to see again, where our kids can go out and play outside and don't have to worry about getting shot, you know? And they're healthy and they're not going to the doctor. They don't have juvenile diabetes and, and heart disease and all this stuff to look forward to. This is the community that I'm proud to be a part of the inspiring healthy living community. And as I said, all those villages we have, I love all of you, all right? I'm telling you right now. So if somebody tell you that Troy don't love you, they lying, because you hear it right now. I'm telling you, I love you. I care about you all, respect you all. But let's come together, let's unite. Let's continue to make a difference like we're doing. And everybody can unmute yourselves. I'm getting ready to stop the recording, but unmute yourselves and, and just, you know, just give love, man. Love, love life, right? All praises to God, man. All praises to God. Thank you.